I think I'm gonna cry because this is the smallest, cutest kitty I've ever met. This little girl is just about a week old. Actually, she can't open her eyes yet and she can't hear. That's how tiny she is, but she's so curious about the camera and the world around her this morning. So right now we are in the bottle baby ICU at the Arizona Humane Society. And this is just the time of the year where they really need more fosters to help take care of these little kitties. And it's not just cats, it's actually puppies too. So joining us now is Carrie with the Humane Society with a little guy here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming today. <laughs> Tell us about what you guys need right now most. We are looking for foster heroes, families to step forward to take care of these young neonates. Our ICU gets so full at this time of year, and last year we served over 2,000 um, little ones that were anywhere from newborn to eight weeks old. And it takes the entire community to be able to serve these. They need round-the-clock care, feeding every three hours. And so we just, again, we fill up so quickly. We actually have 61 neonates here wow. today. Wow, and they're so adorable. They do need a little bit of um, extra care, of course, as they grow. We know it's kitten season right now. I've seen a couple people post things on social media. They find kittens in their neighborhood. Kind of your first instinct is to just take them home, take care of them, but what should you do if you find some? Well, we recommend don't kidnap kittens. So you want to definitely monitor for about eight hours to see if mom comes back. She's normally foraging for food. And so in that time frame, you can put food and water out for her. Hopefully she'll return, and if she doesn't, um, you can visit our website for different resources for kittens. Okay, Carrie, thank you so much. And we're going to come around the table here to talk to Nikki. And she's going to kind of run, run us through what it takes to bottle feed some of the smallest kittens. Hi, Nikki. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. <laughs> thank you guys for being here. So who do we have here? Do you know how old this kitty is? She is about two weeks old. Okay. Um, so she is fed about every two hours. She's still on formula. Um, and what you want to do, you want to mix up the formula, get it to the right temperature, make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. They're not really interested in cold milk. And then, of course, if it's too hot, it can cause some injury. Uh, so we weigh them before, they, before we feed them. And then we usually feed them about 5% of their body weight. Okay. So after they're fed, uh, we weigh them again to make sure that they gain the appropriate amount of food. <laughs> and is this how much? You, is it one bottle or how much, how, how much food do you give them? She'll get a little bit of this bottle, not really the whole thing. Okay, great. Yeah. And if someone's watching this and they're interested in learning more, uh, where can they find more information? Uh, we have great information on azhumane.org slash foster. Okay. And then she is ready for her breakfast. So you kind of just want to like lay them on their chest um, and then offer the bottle about a 45 degree angle. And you can tell that they're really interested in their meal when their ears actually start to twitch, which is adorable. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, Nikki, thank you so much. We really yes. appreciate it. Uh, so Scott and Tess, uh, you're gonna probably check my pockets when I come back to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Your two at home might want another sibling. Just saying. Uh, yeah, I might have to <laughs> run it by them. Yeah, we'll have a family meeting and we'll discuss it. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in fostering, it's a really great experience. They give you all the uh, supplies you need. So uh, we'll also have it posted on our website as well. All right. Whitney, yeah. thank